Sometime in September, you know, uh, pretty soon I'll be making an announcement on when I'm fighting, but uh, September is looking like... Are you going to make Vegas your whole time, or are you going to fight in the basement? Y'all stay tuned, and uh, like I said, it's a big announcement coming up soon, y'all see. All right. What did you think about uh, this past weekend's fight with uh, Pacquiao and Thurman? I thought, that was, I thought that was a great fight. Uh, Thurman went in there, he put, on, he put up a good fight. I think, I think he put up a better fight than a lot of people are giving him credit for. Uh, Pacquiao, you know, showed why he's been at the top of the game for so long. You know, showed what, what he's made of. Um, you know, uh, it was a good fight. Definitely a dream, Haney. I appreciate it, man. So, thank you, thank you. Haney, what's your prediction for this fight, man? For this one right here? Yes. Uh, I don't know. You know, uh, both guys can punch. Both guys have, you know, tremendous heart. So, uh, I think it's going to be a good fight. You know, uh, I think it's a toss-up. On any given night, one of these guys can, can beat each other. Uh, 135 is not that easy for me to make, you know, uh, but, you know, if, if I see a world title, see where I can fight for a world title soon, and it's looking like I will be fighting for a world title soon, then I'm going to stay as long as I can. So, Tiafima Lopez made a comment. I was talking to him uh, at the Kachanga Casino, and he said that you think that you're going to be fighting for a title, but actually, he's going to be fighting for the title. That's why he got out of the, the WBC. What do you have to say about that? Well, you know, that's why he got out the WBC, because he knew that, you know, he would be fighting me for, for you know, an eliminator, or he'll be fighting me before that. So, you know, uh, he went the opposite way, and he will be fighting for a world title. You know, and, and I know that eventually I'm going to be fighting for a world title, too, so it's no rush. I'm, I'm okay. My time will come. And 3D Bot, of all the champions at 135, who would you rather fight, and when can we expect to be fighting for a world title? Uh, I'll fight any of, the, any of the champions at 135, you know. Uh, Right now, I'm just looking that I'm, I'm going to be fighting, you know, uh, Campbell or, or Lomachenko, you know, uh, so yeah, either I one think. of those guys, either one of those guys, you know, uh, the, the winner, you know, I, I want to fight the, the best. Bob Allen was right over there. I don't know if you got to see him. Um, obviously, um, T.P. Lopez, he's a 35 pound prospect, had some words for you. Uh, you say anything to him? What do you say? Uh, he, he said that. <laughs> You can't shine your shoes and whatever. He said what? He said that you're not at his level. You're not there yet. Why did he go the opposite way then? You know, he could have easily, if, if I was so easy, he would have just stayed on, on the WBC side and fought me. But he, he obviously went the opposite way. And his last fight, he had a tough fight with, uh, I, don't, I don't remember the guy's name, but, uh, you know, he just showed that, you know, it's different levels and that. Yeah. yeah. It showed, it showed that it's different levels and I'm on a totally different level than him. Do you get tired of all these dudes' names being mentioned with yeah. you when you already been in the ring with them and you yeah, feel like you already yeah, getting that yeah. work? Yeah, um, it come with the territory. I knew that, you know, this this time was going to come. You know, every every day is somebody new, you know. Uh, one day is Ryan Garcia, one day is Tia Pima, one day is, you know, it's many different guys, you know. Uh, it's okay, it come with the territory. And have you, you've been in the ring with Ryan Garcia, you beat him in the amateur. Yeah. Y'all split, you said, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you think he's progressed the way you have in the pros? Uh, I mean, Ryan, you know, um, he, he's doing good in the pros. You know, I, I can't say that he's not. You know, he's undefeated. You know, uh, he's ranked in most of the sanctioning bodies, you know. So, you know, he, if he keep on winning, you know, eventually he'll get a shot at the title. I appreciate you, man. I won't take too much of your point. He's good, everybody. He's Devin Haney, 22-0. I just want to give a shout-out to Champside. You know, they always support. They always rock in the 